bother me, I know, but one thing at a time. So this thing's doing nothing, and then after five seconds, it spawned one of those things. After another five seconds, oh yeah, okay, here we go. Now we got two of them. Oh gosh, what have I done? Oh no. <laughs> okay, clearly I have a problem with the end of the list. After five seconds, we start we start getting this one. Ow, ow, ow. And then we should get another one, but the first one should go away after a little bit. Ouch. <laughs> Let me just see what's actually going on. Because I think, it, I think it's working. I don't know what that one was. That's a weird one. <laughs> then there's the bursts. And only one of the snakes is there. And then after a little while, the bursts, or the snakes, come back. Yeah, I definitely think I want to change it. I mean, there's a lot to do. But I, I don't want it to be generate by time I want to make the whole pattern off screen and then have you run have it run towards you basically so that you don't get these weird curves based on your movement as it generates that okay but but I mean this isn't a great pattern or this isn't a great sequence but you get the idea of how if I have a sequencer I could either have it be just 100% linear on like a, a loop or like Kogarg was talking about I could have it be uh kind of fluctuating or, you know, dilate the time so it gets more and more intense or different factors get more and more intense about it as it goes through each cycle. One thing I'm absolutely, I mean, there's a lot of things I'm not touching, but I'm absolutely not playing with speed of these things yet either. But I generally, like, bullet hell games generally don't want missiles moving different speeds unless they're clearly, like, different missiles. These, all, these are all definitely the same missile. Okay. Ah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think there's good bones in here somewhere. Uh, to reference the Quora reference I didn't get earlier <laughs> from someone. I think there's good bones in here. Um, I think it needs a little bit more thought now that the takeaway is, oh, wait, maybe this would be fun. Because I went into this, as I said at the beginning of the stream, <laughs> someone mentioned bullet hell and melee, and I was like, ah. I didn't say that's impossible, but. In my brain, I'm like, that's that's impossible. Me no think good. Um, I was like, oh, that's going to be hard because you have all this momentum stuff. So right now, I don't feel like I'm... Like, there were cool ideas in the chat earlier about stuff that would play with your momentum, like gravity wells and stuff that would help you... Uh, what's the word I want? Deal with the fact that you have inertia, you know, and you can't slow down. Um so I think there's a lot of cool stuff to explore there, and I didn't really explore any of it. And I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to explore. I just was like, oh, I want the I want the basics. So right now I have I'm convinced the basics are at least kind of neat and compelling. Um, then there's some finesse there into like, okay, what's going to make this into a good pattern? You know, let's make the sequencer actually work. There's a lot of work around shooting the bullets down. Although I like you know I like that. Yeah, my core awe. My Korra can just say, oh, well, I can't dodge, but I can shoot. And then maybe it has a chance of surviving, and that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, leveraging patterns that will be interesting, or figuring out what, what patterns and what movements are going to be interesting when you have this inertial movement in space. That's something that I basically just copied <laughs> stuff I know from Bullet Hell. I didn't really sit there and go, huh, what's going to be good other than stuff that allows me to, like have time to turn, especially in a slow ship like the Korra. 